Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna talk about the R and the triple R process on how your thoughts become reality. So if you're interested in a video like that, please keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I wanna talk about the first R and the triple R process on how your thoughts become reality. So just to recap, the triple R process is repetitive thoughts, so you're repetitive, you have repetitive thoughts, they are reaffirmed into your reality, reflected in your reality, and they become your reality. So the triple R process. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, the first R, which are repetitive thoughts, but girlfriend, okay? Before we get into the video, I have to introduce myself. If you do not know who I am, my name is Amber Turner and I am the author of You Choose Your Outfit with Outfit being the metaphor for your reality and experience. And I'm also the author of the Transformational Journal, 365 Transformational Beliefs on How to Glow Up. And so it's a transformational journal um, with prompted beliefs for every single day to help change your internal belief system because... When it comes to creating our reality or choosing your reality, I, like I like to say, or choosing your outfit, um, it starts on the inside. It starts with our beliefs. It starts with our thoughts and what we believe and things of that nature. And then it's reflected in our external reality. And so in this video, we are going to talk about the first R in the triple R process when it comes to how your thoughts become your reality, which are how your thoughts really come become your belief, but reality is the third R. So reality beliefs, same thing. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video because the first R is the most important one really because everything thereafter is kind of the after effect of the repetitive thoughts. So what are repetitive thoughts? Repetitive thoughts are pretty self-explanatory. They are the thoughts that we have consistently, but how do we know what thoughts we're having? So that's where I wanna start is, how do we know what our repetitive thoughts are? So first you can become aware of your thoughts and how do you become aware? You gotta listen. You gotta listen to yourself. Now that sounds easier said than done. Well, is that the saying? I don't think that fits. It, it is easier said than done to become aware of your thoughts. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's easier said than done because we are often not aware of what we're thinking because it happens so natural at this point in our lives. Like it's so, it's a, such a natural thing that it just is something that we're just not aware of typically. But one of the things that I did personally, and this was years ago, I decided to kind of shut off all the numbing um, mechanisms that were my life, which were watching TV all the time, listening to music, just scrolling through social media and all those things that kind of was something that I did to pass the time. So I shut all that off and I intentionally made a commitment to myself to listen to myself, listen to the narrative that was going on in my head. And it took practice, even without the numbing mechanisms, it still took practice to actually become aware of my thoughts. And so that's one thing you could do is become aware of your thoughts and be intentional about it. And you have to, re it's a real, it's a practice really, because it sounds like, okay, I'll just start listening to my thoughts, but it is so, it's, it's a hard thing, it's, just, it's practice. Because even now, I'm pretty aware of my thoughts, but at, sometimes thoughts still make it past me and I, I don't hear them because it's just, you know, you're, you're going through the, the daily grind and life and you, you might be looking at a wall not really realizing that you're thinking about something. And so it's a, it's a practice but it's so worth it to become aware of your thoughts. Now, another thing you can do to become more aware of your thoughts is actually look at your experience. Like look at your reality currently and look around and see like what things are showing up, what people, what situations, what circumstances are showing up in your reality in the present moment. 
And that's going to be a great indicator of what's actually going on in your head. So looking to see what keeps showing up, what kind of arguments you keep having, the conversations you keep having, the same kind of people that keep showing up in your life is telling you <laughs> what's going on in your head. So being aware of our the narrative and also being aware of what's going on in our experience. And so when it, when it comes to repetitive thoughts and the, the first R in the triple R process on how our thoughts become reality, how, why repetitive thoughts become reality is because they are our dominant thoughts. It's what we're thinking about constantly. And so whether it's great thoughts or bad thoughts, that's what's going to show up as our reality. So um, again, once we've become aware of our thoughts, if they are serving us, then continue with the repetitive thoughts. But if they are not serving you, then we need to shift and transform those thoughts, those repetitive thoughts that are becoming our reality. And so how can we shift and transform those repetitive thoughts? We talk about subliminals on this channel all the time. Great modality to shift those repetitive thoughts to those that serve you. So once you've become aware and you realize what kind of thoughts you're having, what kind of assumptions you're making about a certain person, what kind of perceptions, all of these things, what's the repetitive thoughts, then you look at it and say, well, what is it that I really want to experience here? And so we need to shift and transform that into a different repetitive thought. And so subliminals, like I said, is a great way. Affirming, looking in the mirror and repeating those affirmations over and over and over again throughout the day, shifting and transforming your thoughts, being very present. You have to be present. So once you realize that you're having that thought, shift it. Shift that and transform that thought to the affirmation or the new thought that you wish to experience. Now, one of the things that I often do, and this saves me a lot, when I realize that my thoughts are spiraling and I'm starting to have a repetitive thought uh, of some sort that is not in service to me or service to someone else or whatever the case is, I grab this right here, my, my notebook. Yeah. yeah, my notebook. And I just start script, well, not scripting, just writing um, the positive affirmation over and over and over again to shift my thoughts, to shift my, um, thought process to one that is of service to me. And that's a great way to be present because, you know, um, Oftentimes with affirmations and trying to uh, choose an experience because you're having some sort of repetitive thoughts, we do it oftentimes in the morning because we remember and things like that. But if you can really be present and realize what thought you're having in the present now and if it's not serving you, catch it and transform it in that moment, It's to me, it's a better way to go about it because your mental diet throughout the day is what really is important in my opinion. You know, oftentimes they say at night and then the morning and things like that, but it's really, it's your repetitive thoughts are your dominant thoughts. So it's the dominant thoughts throughout the whole day. What What's the most, where your focus is really. So those repetitive thoughts, when especially when you can catch them, shift and transform them. And I've said this, sorry, my back is itching. Um, and I've said this in other videos, um, especially in the morning when you are waking up and your mind is starting to repopulate the same thoughts you had the day prior, shift and transform. Start writing those affirmations shift that repetitive thought into one that serves you and start shifting and transforming those thoughts, especially in the morning. So the morning is, is imperative. It is important, but when you can catch them throughout the day, that's even better. And so I wanted to share that because I think it's a, 
I always say I think it's important. No, I don't think I know. I know it's important, okay? It's important to really catch those repetitive thoughts. The repetitive thoughts, the dominant thoughts that you're having is what creates your reality. So again, with the triple R process, repetitive thoughts, it's then reaffirmed and reflected in your experience. And once you see that reflection and it's reaffirmed in your experience, you then, then start to think it's true. Like, oh, I see it, that is true. And that's when it becomes your reality. So the repetitive thoughts, that's so, so important. So shifting and transforming those repetitive thoughts into ones that serve you um, is so important. So I wanted to just make a quick video on that and uh, share how that process works and how you can really shift it into your favor. And that's going to help create the reality, the experience, the outfit, girlfriend, the outfit that we want to wear. So that is all for this video. I just wanted to share that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do videos on subconscious mind, manifesting, thought energy, that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, I like talking about it. So I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.